Hello and welcome to Handle Time. Um, I have this rare Seiko dress watch, which is the Sarb 029. I recently got this about a month ago. Um, I was just curiously looking at several watch shop shops while I was walking, and I saw that uh, this watch shop had this Seiko, which first reminded me of a Sarb 033, and then. I looked at the case back, took a photo, and after looking at the case code and movement code, the eight digits, um, I found out that it is the Sarb 029, which is a JDM model, and it's quite rare compared to other models, especially from the Sarb series. So um, yeah, I got it pretty much uh, the next day. I bought it, and I've, I've love it since I've gotten it. it's a great watch I love I love that this watch isn't that common and you don't see them on lots of wrists so that's a positive uh, thing um, so the dimensions of this watch this watch uh, the diameter is 36 millimeters so it's a great dress watch uh, size as 19 millimeters lug width and um, I can't remember the thickness, it's about 11, it's quite thin, it's about 11 and 11 and a half um, millimeters. It has a signed crown with drilled lugs, a display case back which houses the 6R15. This has the 6R15B movement. Some say that uh, the A, B, and C were more prone to issues and the D is the better of the three. So far I've had this running at about plus eight or nine seconds per day, which is within, well within specs. 50 meters of water resistance, a domed hardlex crystal, very nice dial with, it's very minimalist. It has uh, Dauphine hands, applied indices, applied logo. Uh, what I like a lot is that the date window, uh, the background is black. You see on many watches, costing way more than this one, that the um, black dates, black uh, dials have the date wheel in white, and I it kind of drives me crazy. When I see a black date wheel, it just blends so much better with the, the black dial. So I like that they did that. The Sarboy 33 does that uh, as well. It has the black date wheel. When I first saw this, yeah, I thought it was the Sarbo 33. It's the younger cousin. It's a little bit smaller than the, uh, the 033. Let me put it on my wrist. So my wrist is a um, 6.5 inch wrist. So this is just perfect dimensions. Perfect for a dress watch. This uh, originally this comes on uh, the OEM bracelet is a, yeah, it's the 19 millimeter metal bracelet. This I bought without, it did not have the metal bracelet. I've searched a bit, researched a bit about the OEM bracelet and it's really hard to find. I'll keep an eye on it, but if I don't get it, I, I'll still be able to sleep at night because I love how it looks on leather. It just looks great in a dark brown or tan leather strap. This is a uh, crown and buckle full grain uh, leather strap. It's great quality. So, um, what are some of the uh, the pros and cons of this watch? Um, I love that the dimensions are are quite compact. It's, uh, 36 millimeters for a dress watch is perfect. The signed crown is a great pro. On many uh, mid to lower Seikos, you don't have a signed crown. Uh, the movement is uh, is great. It's the 6R15. Uh, there are uh, they are prone to issues yes uh, but they're it's definitely better than the uh, 7s26 this has hacking and hand winding so that's great for setting the time to an atomic clock uh, the display case back 
it's not the best uh, movement to see, but it's. Uh, I like that the, the rotor has a little nice finishing to it for the price point. Um, I've seen these going out for uh, lots of money, like seven hundred to a thousand dollars. I was lucky to get the, that this watch for a, a fraction of that price, way way lower. Um, yeah, I think that the watchmaker that had this really didn't know that this was kind of like a hidden gem. So I try not to show too much enthusiasm when I when I saw this watch in order to try to negotiate the price. So I was able to wiggle in a little bit for that. So um, the black date wheel on a black dial I think is a great pro. It's a JDM model as well. So what, what are some of the cons of this watch? Well, one is that it has um, the 19 millimeter lug width, so it'll be a bit harder to find straps as opposed to 18, 20, or 16 millimeters. Another con is that this does have a hard lex. I love the vintage vibes that the hard lex gives it, but, uh, but yeah, I would have preferred for it to have a Sapphire. Another uh, con might be that this has the 6R15B variant. Uh, some say that the D movement is the better of the four. So, uh, but so far I've gotten good numbers on uh, on this watch. And uh, another con might be that it also has 50 meters of water resistance. I believe the other Sarbs, like the O33 and O35, which have sort of like a more dressish um, look to them, they're 100 meters. So I wish this had 100, but it's not a huge con. Yeah, overall, I love the this watch. It's just perfect for proportions for a small wrist. They're quite hard to find. They do pop up sometimes if see one I would definitely try to get one if you have a, a small wrist just fits perfect so thank you I hope you enjoyed this mini review of the Sarb 029 thank you